G'day guys, it's Matt here from the Bailey's Diesel Group. Today I wanted to answer one of the most common questions that we get, which is basically around D40 or, or Navaras in general and the way they blow smoke. So I think one of the first things we need to understand when we get stuck into it is that the Nissan Navaras actually run one of the richest AFRs that we've seen out of the factory. So they're typically around about the 18 to 1, which means that there's not a lot of margin before they actually start blowing smoke. Now, when we get stuck into the components that makes the damage, you'll also understand that the injectors actually flow quite a lot as well, which exacerbates the problem. So, there's five key areas that we see repetitively that makes the, the Navaras blow a lot of smoke. So the first one that we see, which is the most common, is the EGR valves. I wish I had an example here to show you, but basically what happens with the EGR valves, they have an electric motor that actuates a butterfly, and basically the motor and the butterfly are linked by a plastic gear set, and in effect, the gear set starts to strip. Once they strip, it loses control, the, basically the engine starts uh, suffocating on its own exhaust gases, and you have the drama, so it's very common. Now, you've basically got two potential fixes. First is that you replace the EGR valve. The second is that you blanket, not that we recommend that sort of stuff here, but this is one of the very few cars that will not throw a fault code if you blank the EGR valve. But again, we don't recommend it. Um, when it comes to the second main thing that we see is injectors. It's probably not the, the main thing that we see, but it's, it's sort of important that we cover the injectors off now. These injectors have a massive flow rate, like far bigger than anything else in terms of you know diesel utes that we get here in Australia. So, and it's also in one of the smallest capacity engines. So, what that basically means is they have a high flow rate, short duration of injection, but it also means that when things start to go wrong inside the injector, you've only got a small margin of error because a small margin of error is multiplied by the flow rate. So, that's the second part of it. The third issue that we get a lot of, which is far more common, is the suction control valve. Now, a suction control valve, for want of a better term, we've got a couple of examples here. These are both Nissan Navaras. They're the more common ones. You've got basically long and short in effect. The issue with suction control valve is that they're basically the throttle of the fuel pump. So if it's giving the wrong rail pressures, again, highlighted by the fact that we've got high flow rates in the injectors, but if it's giving the wrong rail pressure, then it's quite common that it will give you black smoke. The other thing, it, it's a typical symptom of a failing suction control valve, is also that they stall at the lights when you're pulling up, then they're coming back to idle. Or sometimes they come back to idle, they'll actually be over pressure and you'll hear it knock and rattle and carry on. So they're your two common symptoms for suction control valves. The fourth one is uh, split intake piping. So I'm going to whack a video in now that you can see the intake pipe expanding and contracting without even load on it, just revving it up. It's pretty impressive. But those pipes actually split. Now when those pipes split, the ECU calculates the fuel based on the MAF, Manifold Airflow Sensor. But if it's sensing airflow that's actually leaving the intake pipe and not going to the engine, it's putting the wrong amount of fuel in because it's reading the wrong amount of air. So this is another common issue. Now lastly, we've got a blocked intake manifold, which is usually due to EGR buildup. So generally speaking, the MAF is going to contribute. So if it's seeing a restricted flow, it's going to give less fuel. So you would think that in, in theory that this should correct itself out and it not give black smoke. But the problem that we see is that the buildup is usually uh, is more significant on cylinder number four to a lesser extent on three and hardly any on two and one, which means that the MAF is balancing out the fuel flows expecting that all cylinders have the same amount of air supply and they don't. So ultimately what happens, yes, it will be restricting fuel, but cylinder four and, and three to a lesser extent is still significantly overfueling, which means therefore that you're gonna be getting smoke out of those two cylinders at very least, if not them all anyway. So I hope that you found that interesting. If you've got any comments, please post them below and we'll respond to them and answer any questions that you have. Um, and yeah, hopefully you found that interesting. Thanks very much.